In this video, we'll be taking a look at a Linux distribution called SuperX version 1.1, codenamed Cassini. So it's based on Kubuntu 12.04 and uses the netbook interface of Kubuntu rather than the standard desktop. So instead of a like a start menu down there, you've got you've got a launcher with the menus and you've got an application searcher. So for instance, GIMP. And there I can open GIMP from there. Now what you might have noticed when I was trying to open an application there, it's not the most responsive distro around. In fact, I have had to up the spec to quad core, just to make it move a bit faster. But the layout of it, we've got a few favourites along the top, and you can edit these quite easily. So I can even take one off and drop it in the recycle bin there. Along the middle here we've got the types of applications, and along the bottom we've got a taskbar, with a desktop switcher, and shutdown menu. And you can also shut down here in the top right, as well as add the widgets and configure some of the screen settings. Another nice feature you get with this distro is some nice compiz styled effects. So you've got the expo type effect with the four screens. Uh, there should also be the compiz cube, but I can't get that working in virtual machine. Right, let's take a look what it comes with. So in multimedia, so we've got K3B disc burner, got the Dragon movie player, music player and that's going to be, oh it's music this time, okay, got open shot video editor, sound recorder, sound settings, screenshot and VLC media player. I quite like the icon sets they've used in this distro, in fact a lot of the artwork all around looks pretty good in this distro. Right under internet, so we've got Bluetooth configuration, Pigeon internet messenger, a Chromium web browser, Thunderbird email, Firefox web browser, Got a link to SuperX community chat, and you've got the transmission a bit torrent. So under graphics, so we've got LibreOffice Draw, GIMP 2.8, Image Viewer, Paint, and you can, another place to take a screenshot. Games, you just got one game there, it's K Patient. Office, you got half the LibreOffice suite, that's LibreOffice version 3.5. System, we've got a few different system tools here, but let's open up the system monitor and check its memory usage. So it's using about 525 meg of RAM there, so that's a fair bit, but not far off what Ubuntu would use. And I've allocated this machine four CPU cores, as I mentioned earlier, it was getting a bit unresponsive with just dual core. And lastly, we've got a few utilities there. So you get the restricted extras pre-installed. So if I go along to a video I've just downloaded into this distro, you can, you can see an AVI file plays nicely, as well as music files. And also with this being KDE, you've got a little preview box within, uh, within the Dolphin file manager. And lastly, we'll just take a look at some of the wallpapers they've included. So as you can see, they've added a few nice wallpapers into this distro. So here's what I thought of SuperX 1.1. Now regular viewers will notice that I've changed my conclusion slightly here. So gone is customization, and now in its re replace we have responsiveness. And I've also added this little bit along the bottom where I noted down some of the applications they've included. So, easy to use. Yep, certainly was. There's very simple interface and easy enough to use. Easy to install. Yep. Styling. Yeah, it does look very nice. So, I've got some nice wallpapers that they've included and some nice icons. So, boot up speed. Fairly quick, but then again, I don't think a KD based distro is going to get 5 out of 5 there. Responsiveness. Now, here's what I found it was pretty slow with dual core, but it was actually much faster with quad core. So, in the end, that's what I made the virtual machine a quad core. I think it was slower than I found Kubuntu to be in the virtual machine, so I was comparing like to like. A uh, number of bugs, yeah, I did notice one there where the mouse managed to fail and I was clicking a bit too fast between applications. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I ended up having to reboot with the keyboard. Uh, selection of pre installed apps, yeah, it's Got a nice selection there. A number of apps available. They've included some extra repositories, but not quite enough to tip it into a 5 out of 5 there. And they have included both the 32 and 64 bit versions. So, the good points yep, there's some nice looking artwork in there, as I mentioned. 
and it makes change to see a distro using KDE, the KDE netbook interface, as its default. At bad points there, the Kubuntu searcher is nowhere near as quick as the Unity searcher. For example, if I was to type GIMP there, you'll notice I've got it in two letters and it's straight up. But overall, at 80%, that's still a fairly good distro. So thanks for watching, see you later.